It's beautiful. The early sun rising just over there, peeking through the clefts in those rough cliffs. Oh, I love it. See the light just now, painting the far side of my magnificent canyon. Such openness down there below me. The smell of warm earth, pine trees, the sound of hundreds of busy insects, the trill of birds, dazzling, shining, wonderful. Oh, I love it. Every morning I drink this all in. I'm filled up with it, every sense tingling with the joy and exquisiteness of this breathtaking place. My canyon, my home, it's beautiful. I, Tupac, the Andean Bear of Royalty, was born surrounded by centuries of beauty, way down in the Buenos Aires Sur, in Argentina. The Eco Parque de Buenos Aires was a lush and beautiful 45-acre garden. You see, all of that beauty, all of that nature, truly most of the land was dedicated to creating an exquisite experience for the people who visited, not us animals. So, while yes, this, the Eco Parque de Buenos Aires was our home, it, it was not so beautiful for us. I was born in a tight concrete grotto, a pit surrounded by the grey stone walls. Just a small pool to drink from and a bit of straw for bedding. A footpath above us allowed the visitors to gaze down, pausing to look for just a moment before continuing along through the exquisite gardens far out of sight above us. From my home, I could see little more than the tops of trees barely visible above the rock walls. For a few days, my every look was drawn to that dash of color in the corner of our grotto. As if I knew there was so much more for me to see in this world. As time went on, the city began to take note of various demonstrations being held by citizens who felt that the conditions we were living in were cruel and uncaring. And in 2016, the zoo was officially closed and converted into an ecological park. Most of the animals were to be relocated, so I, my mother Peña, and stepfather Miko were brought here to Colorado, to the refuge. Given a massive 243-acre habitat as our home, five times larger than the entire Eco Parque de Buenos Aires, yet just for us. Well, of course, I, I was in rapture. I'd seen nothing like the refuge before. And while, yes, when I was first released, I stayed close to the lockout, over the next few days, I ventured farther and farther, exploring deeper and deeper into the canyons, drinking in the rich tapestry of life, of growth, of wilderness that surrounded me. Words cannot express the feelings that washed over me as I explored this new land. It wasn't too long before I came to the face of a steep rock cliff, pausing for a moment as the ground fell away before me into the most spectacular view. There. I sat, breathless, perched on the peak of the highest rock, as ridges, trees, and the canyon floor. Often, I spent hours at the top of the cliff, watching as the sanctuary staff construct ever more habitats for tigers, lions, and other creatures on the canyon floor below. And I smile, knowing that this beauty will restore them, bring healing and life for so many who have experienced only pain. Oh, I love my home, my valley, my canyon. It's just perfect for an Andean spectacled bear like me. We absolutely love perching up high on rocky cliffs where we can look out on the majesty. I have my own feeding area just up a short path at the top of the cliff, always stocked with tasty treats. There's a tank for swimming and drinking just a short path below. I even have my own private bathroom and a place to sleep. Sometimes I'll visit with the crows and other birds who perch along the cliff face, filling the air with curious conversation. Other times, Miko and my mother, they come to visit. But most of the time, I just sit alone on the ledge, soaking it all in. Sometimes I think back to where I came from. The hardened concrete pit I once knew as home, surrounded by beauty but unable to experience it. 
and I wondered, how was it possible those many years ago to miss something I'd never known, to yearn for something I'd yet to experience? See, when I came to this place, I knew I was where I was meant to be, as if it was always here waiting for me. Even from the first moment, I knew that this was the place where I, Tupac, the royal bear, belonged. This, I guess, this is my kingdom. This rocky perch is my throne, where I wasn't just a spectacle on display for others like back at that zoo in Argentina, surrounded by beauty, yet where the nature that surrounded me was manufactured and fake. Here, the spectacle majesty that surrounds me is truly real, authentically free for me to enjoy. Because this, this is my home. It's beautiful. 